What's up amigos? Welcome to Think Buddha. My name is Antonio and today I'm going to be showing you how to screen paint from start to finish. So let's get started. Okay, now this video is going to be part one and I'm going to show you how I separate my colors of my design and print them onto the films. Now here in Mexico, the films that we use are these. It's called albanene. These aren't transparency or nothing. But it's the same thing when separating your colors. Now what I use to separate my colors, I use Illustrator. Also for the signs and everything. And it's pretty funny because I grew up in Phoenix. And when I was learning screen printing, I would go into YouTube. And I realized that everyone was using Illustrator for the design and for basically everything. But when I came here to Mexico, I realized that everyone here uses Corel Draw. And to them, Illustrator is like a mystery. Like, there are some people who know it, but mostly everyone uses Corel. So, for me, who I'm still learning this Illustrator, I can't really ask anyone for help. Also, the guy who sent me my screen printing press, he uses Corel. And I see him how he separates colors. And I realized that. I, Corel Draw is a little bit better, and what he made, basically said to me was that Corel was meant for screen printers. And when I heard that, I thought I would give it a try. I opened Corel, but it was just confusing, especially since I already was learning Illustrator. So I didn't even bother. Like, I would like to learn it, but in reality, there's the point of learning starting all over again because I don't want to do that it's going to take longer I'm probably learning Illustrator so even though they say Corel is better I'm just going to stick with Illustrator but anyways let's get started okay the design that's going to be separating today is going to be for the shirt that could be saying to Phoenix so let's jump into my computer real quick okay here's the design I'm going to be working on and the first thing I'm going to do is going to be a new document and since the film that I'm using is tabloid size, which is 11 by 17, that's what's going to be my artboard size, or canvas. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the, to the logo and just copy it. That's all I do. Paste. And this is going to be 11 and a half, 11 by, uh, 11 and a half inches wide. I'm just going to uh, change the size of it. And the reason I'm making this 11 and a half is because that's about the widest squeegee I have, so I can't go any bigger than that. But anyways, then I'm going to grab the some, re some registration marks. I'm just going to copy that and paste it to this new file. I'm just going to adjust it. Okay, and now the way I do it, I just copy those three colors. I'm just going to make two extra copies of this. So just duplicate. Duplicate. If I want this one, the blue. This one, the black. And this one, the yellow chicken. <clears throat> okay, now what I'm going to do is just go to the yellow one first. Grab the black, delete the blue, delete the other blue, delete. Let me just hide those so I won't get confused. <clears throat> okay, here's the chicken. Make sure. Oh, I want. Yeah, you're gonna make sure you gotta group those together so it won't move around. I'm gonna put it up here. Now let's do the black. Black again. Just copy it. 
I mean group it, bring it down, <laughs> erase the colors that you're not going to use, erase the chicken, erase the blue, there you go. Let me change this to black one. Okay, now let's leave the blue. For the blue one, I'm just going to make another canvas. Pretty simple, just new next to it. And but since the blue, I noticed that it's a little bit wider, it won't fit on the on the short side. I'm gonna flip it. Brand blue. Group it over here. Erase the colors. Erase the chicken. Erase the black. Convert this to black now. There you go, the three colors. Okay, now I gotta fix this right here so I won't get confused when I actually print it and cut it out. And another thing is, I don't like this empty space right here. I feel like it's a waste of film. And what I do is, if I have more films I need to print from other designs, if I can make it fit more than one design in a film, it's better for me. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let me go to this. This is another design for another track gonna be printing. Ink. And all I need is this feeding spur right here. I'm just gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it right here. Paste it with the chicken so I won't get confused. Paste. And on this one I need it actually I think I believe it's three inches wide. Three inches. And for the chicken. If you can see the sign, it doesn't have to be precise, the registration, because none of the colors are actually like touching. So the registration marks for that chicken aren't really that necessary. I could just eyeball it. So I'm just gonna re I'm gonna delete some marks. Let me take out the black so I won't be confused. For example, these ones I don't need. that one I'll just keep these two <clears throat> and there you go now these films <clears throat> are ready and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export them to PDF because I take these to Home Depot to print them and they they require you to have it in PDF form so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to save as WPDF and I'm going to save this to the desktop so I won't get confused <clears throat> no, that's my print shop <laughs> the ink build up films Save. Save. 
And that's it. All I have to do is just transfer the files to my USB. And I'm going to go to Home Depot tomorrow and print these out and I'm going to show you guys. Alright amigos, I just left Office Depot, got my films print, and I'm gonna head home right now so I can show you the films that I printed out. Alright amigos, I just arrived from Home Depot, and I'm gonna show you the films that I ended up printing. Okay guys, I ended up printing four films, and my total cost was 4 pesos 80 cents, which is 5 pesos because they run up here, which in dollars is about like... 25 cents and here's the blue and I ended up adding this design because I forgot that the other shirts not gonna be in the printing are for kid size so I added this one here's the the black and the yellow with the chicken and also on this other Phoenix design gonna from other design and this is for the back print they're gonna end up for the shirts they're gonna be end up for some kids and like I mentioned in the other video like I mentioned in the previously I mean I don't like wasting a lot of space on this film so I decided to add this my other logo from the ink build up just in case I want to make another print using that design. And here's the back print of the other shirt. Okay guys, well that's all for part one. Now make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see part two. And follow my Instagram and like my Facebook page. And in part two I'm going to explain to you guys how I prepare the science emotion. How I coat my screens. And how I burn my screens. Use the sun. In the meantime, peace out.